So in this video, I want to take a quick look at a pen called the Pilot Axiom. This is a premium ballpoint pen from Pilot in Japan. That's pretty easy to find if you're searching for it, but I'm not sure that anyone would really know to search for the pen. I had never heard of it before. I randomly stumbled on it one day on Amazon and I went ahead and bought it. But uh, prior to that, I'd never seen one in a store. I'd never really heard of it. I don't think it's a pen Pilot really promotes too much, at least in the US. But again, if you do search for it, it's easy to find. It sells for about $20, putting it in the sort of executive or premium pen market. It's a lot like the Pilot G2 Premium or Premier, whatever they call that pen. Uh, but that one sells for about $13, $14. Uh, there are some shared designs from the Pilot G2, which I think are interesting. Like if you look at this top piece, it's separate from the barrel, which the Pilot does with the G2. And the button looks just like the Pilot G2 button, even though this one is metal. Okay, getting into the basics of the Axiom. So it's an all metal pen, no plastic parts at all. It's uh, black. I've never seen it sell in any other color. Maybe in Japan, it sells in other colors, but here in the US, I've only seen it available in this all black. It has this grip section here, and it's actually one piece of the barrel. So it's not really a grip section, and then it has these little dots, which look quite cool, but they're actually just screen printed on. They're not like uh, etched in there or drilled or anything like that. They're just printed on little dots and they don't really offer any grip. You could barely, barely feel them with your fingers. The only really branding on the pen, it says Pilot Japan right here, which is quite cool. And it has a metal clip, it's pretty firm, but it's one of those clips that is sharp on the underside. So this is not very comfortable, uh, but it works very well. Metal button, pretty good action. Not, not like great, but definitely good enough. And it's a nice firm click, which Pilot does with the G2s. That's kind of most of the pen. It's a pretty simple looking pen. And uh, I would say it's a pretty handsome pen, definitely under the radar, kind of stealth or murdered out style. The front of the pen unscrews, and this is the only part of the pen that opens up. You can't really take this pen apart. This part's all metal, some plastic on the inside, which is uh, pretty common with these metal pens, but all metal exterior. Inside, you might be surprised to find a tiny little ballpoint pen refill. This is the same refill that's found in a Pilot Doctor Grip. So this is called the brfn dash. Uh, 10M. So that is like the medium 1.0 millimeter BRFN. And BRFN is a pretty popular style of refill. It's this shorty in the plastic body. It's also a, a BRFN-30, which is the same size, but in a metal refill. It's the same type of refill, but it's a little bit higher end. And there's the BRF, which I believe is the gel ones. I have this all explained on unsharpened.com if you want to get all the, all the details there. So this, this refill is easy to find because it's in the Dr. Grip, which you could buy at basically any supermarket or big box pen store or online, pretty much anywhere. But it's a weird size, so you can't swap in a Pilot G2 style and you can't put in a Parker style refill. So you're, you're kind of stuck with this refill. This is the same problem you would have if you bought a Pilot S2, uh, sorry, S20, which is their really cool wood pen. You, I love that pen but you're restricted to this body size, which is specialized to Pilot. Pilot offers maybe like, I wanna say 10 or 15 different varieties of this refill. So like the BRF, the BRFN, BRFN 30, and they're available in like fine, extra fine, medium, and there's like a broad, double broad on some of them. I don't think they call it a double broad, but it gets to a really wide, I think a 1.6 or 1.4 millimeter ballpoint. So there are options, but again, you're restricted to Pilot and this size. I haven't found a good replacement outside of Pilot for it. There is a spring mechanism in here and a spring here. The two springs keep the pen nice and tight feeling. There's no, there's no shakes, no rattle, nothing like that. This piece clips, clicks up and has a spring-loaded action when the pen is out and then it's firm when the pen is down or up rather. Uh, that I know some people find that annoying, which you can't look at the pen and tell that it's clicked. But on the flip side, it means there's never any rattling. The pen doesn't make any noise. 
which I think is quite cool. It's just a really well-constructed pen, really good looking. Like I said, it's just like sort of a stealthy under the radar pen. It has a uh, good size grip section, sort of like that Pilot G2 again, but it is all metal and is a little bit slippery. I, I wish they had done something with this instead of just print on these weird little dots. I'd, again, they look cool, but they don't offer any grip, so they're functionally useless. I feel like some knurling or light little divots drilled out or poked in or something like that would have been really helpful, but uh, it didn't happen. It's a good size pen. I think uh, people might be surprised. It's a little bit bigger than you might expect. Here's it next to a Sharpie. So it's actually longer than a Sharpie and it's uh, not quite as wide, but not too far off from the sort of, I guess it's wider than the grip section of the Sharpie, but not quite as wide as the barrel. The uh, wider than a sort of standard gel pen and then a good deal wider than like just a Bic, but similar lengths to the crystal. As far as writing goes, it's a very reliable writer. It's a very easy pen to use, but it's a pretty standard ballpoint. I would say that it's quite smooth. I really do like this refill. And as far as sort of like stock ballpoint refill goes, this uh, BRFN dash 10 M is quite good. I know the Dr. Grip has a lot of fans just with it's a really smooth, really nice writing ballpoint, very reliable, lasts a long time, and it's easy to upgrade to the BRF, uh, BRF and dash 30, which is again, functionally the same refill, but it's a little bit higher end. It's nice to have it in the metal body. It may feel a little smoother, but it's hard to really justify that since those are a little bit more expensive and they're harder to find. So again, this is the Pilot Axiom. And I've done a number of videos about this refill just because I really like that Pilot S20. That's that wood ballpoint. So Nice standard blue ballpoint. Uh, maybe it's a hybrid. I should research that and see. It feels like it's a, at least a modern ballpoint. It's really nice and smooth in that sort of lubricated ink. You could look at it next to this big crystal. And I can tell you this is a lot slower feeling, a lot more sort of grippy or sludgy, however you want to call it. It doesn't quite have that nice color saturation of the BRFN. Just sort of a lighter old school ink where the BRFN is much more modern feeling. So that is the Pilot Axiom. I think this is a really good looking pen. It's a lot of fun to use. It's a nice size and they're easy to find online, uh, but you'll never probably see one in person and be able to get your hands on it that way. Uh, $20, I think it's, a little bit pricey, but I understand why it's $20. It's all metal, it's heavy, it's really well made. So I don't really have a problem with the price. It's just that there's so many good pens at like the, you know, 10 to $25 price range. I'm not quite sure that this is like a pen you would get. Like the Pilot S20 is a very similar price. And I think that's a really special pen. This pen is, uh, you know, it's really great. I can't take anything away from it but it just it doesn't feel as special to me as some of the other pens in that range. That said, I really like it, and I would think it's a pen that more people should use, except you have the limitation of that refill. Buying this pen means you really are firmly committed to these Pilot refills. And if you just love the BRFN 30 or the BRFN 10 or something like that, then you know, you're fine, and you could uh, be really happy with that. Just stock up on them and uh, you know, stock up when prices are low and then don't have to worry about it when prices spike. Uh, sometimes you get a little pricey or sometimes you can't find the fine, you can't find the, the super broad, but they are available. So I think that really wraps it up for the Axiom. It's a good pen. I think it's a really good looking pen. I think that's probably, I haven't really gotten to that, but it's just, it's very cool looking. It looks much more expensive than it actually is and uh, it is quite well made. 
but the refill is definitely a limitation on what you could do with it. So that's it. Thanks for watching.